Syria and Iran have admitted there was a chemical attack. They just try to blame it on people who have no scientific capacity to do this and where there is no evidence that they have any of the weaponry to be able to do it. And most importantly, just as a matter of logic, tell me how they would do it from the center of the regime-controlled area and put it into their own people. It defies logic. It defies common sense here. So the evidence is powerful. And the question for all of us is, what are we going to do about it? Turn our backs, have a moment of silence where a dictator can with impunity threaten the rest of the world that he's going to retaliate for his own criminal activity because he's being held accountable. We live in a dangerous world as it is, folks. And that kind of threat is nothing different from the threat we face every single day. And if we don't stand up to it, we'll face it more and they will think they can intimidate anybody. I don't believe that we should shy from this moment. The risk of not acting is greater than the risk of acting. And everybody needs to stop and think about that hard.